no intro, no nothing today. We're just about to get right into it with exporting in GDevo. Now, exporting your games is extremely simple in GDevo, so let's go over it very quickly. Now, first, wherever game you want to export, just simply open that project using file and then open and then open your project. Now, when you're exporting your game, there is something you need to know. Just one specific thing you need to know before you export your game. You want to set your start scene. Of course, I have this test project, but you want to let the game know which scene does it need to play first. In order to do that, you just go to these little three dots here, and then you put set as start scene. I'll put that here, and you'll know it's set at the start screen because it has a flag here. And now let's get into the actual exporting. So now you want to go to this these little three bars over here. You want to go to file, and then you want to go down, and it says export web, iOS, Android, etc. Now, I'm going to show you two ways to do it. You have publishing on gd.games, which is basically on um, the web, is GDevelop's official game website. And then you have exporting and publishing to different platforms like computer, mobile, iOS, Android, you know, all of that type of stuff. So generating a link, let's go into how to put things on gd.games. Now, all you have to do is click generate link, and now you can see it's generating me a link to the game. And one thing that you need to have is you need a gd.games account. And all you have to do is go to gd.games and then create a new account um, and connect it here. And basically, it will generate a link that can automatically be played. And now, all I have to do is copy this by pressing this button or just double-clicking and pressing Control-C. And then if I go to a browser, I click Control-V. And now, you see, I have a development build that I can test out. Because in order to publish your game, you need to actually um, you need to actually publish it on the gd.games. But there's just a development build that we can test to make sure our game works on the web. Now you can see it works here. And now you'll know if your game works on the web. But that's one of the ways you can export and let people play your games right off the bat. Now, let's X this out. How do you actually export your game to things like actual computers, you know? or itch.io, things like Newgrounds, things like that. Now, first I'm gonna show you how to go and export things to itch.io, Newgrounds, Pokey, as you see, it has all the options up here, and more. And it's extremely, extremely easy. Now you see here, they want you to choose an export folder in order for it to export to the web. But first you need to go to um, any of your file system. I'm gonna go to my desktop, and I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna put new, and then I'm gonna put folder. And this folder is gonna be called lighting, not lighting, test build i was about to say lighting but test build and now i'm gonna save it there so it's easy to find then i'm gonna go to gdevelop and choose a folder now i'm gonna go to desktop and i'm gonna go to um, where it says test build and i'm gonna click it instead of double click I'm gonna click test build and then click select folder and now that is the folder now i'm gonna put export as an html5 game no any website that wants you to submit an html file you need to do it in a way like this export as an HTML5 game. And here it is. And here's the thing there are specific instructions for publishing on things like Game Drill, Crazy Games, Congre, all of the things up here. And I'm just going to show you something that you may need to know. Now, some of these websites, I haven't published on all of them. I know I've published on itch.io to be specific. But some of these websites, you may need to um, actually export it as a zip file. You need, may need to export as a zip file. And it's very easy because Windows specifically has a feature that can automatically turn any folder into a zip file. And all you have to do is right click this, test build, and I'm going to click compress to zip file. And when I compress it to zip file, it becomes test build.zip. It automatically becomes zip. And the reason why I'm doing this is because itch.io is an example of one of the websites that requires you to submit the game as a zip file. But some other websites may not require you to submit as a zip file. But just specifically for itch.io, I know for a fact that you need a zip file. So that's how you do it when you publish there. Now you're done with the web. Now that you're done with the web, how do you export on desktop? Because many people want to play games with desktop. Now I will be showing this only for Windows. I'll be showing this only for Windows. But the GDevelop documentation on their website, GDevelop, on the GDevelop wiki, you can learn how to do it on Mac OS and linux but it should be similar exactly to the same thing of what i'm doing here now what i'm going to export as a windows.exe that's why they're saying auto installer file because you know if you click an exe the game automatically opens it just makes it easier for the developer and makes it easier for the player i'm going to click package it makes sure it has auto installer file here i'm going to click package and i can see it now it's exporting a game 
now it's exporting the game and basically once this is done loading here i'll have my game and i'll be able to play it as an exe file and you can send this exe file to players and creators and you can just let them play it so while we're waiting for this i'm gonna do one more thing well i forgot we have to wait until this is done you can't leave the page or automatically cancel the call i'm gonna package this and I'm gonna speed it up. Okay, now finally this is completely done. Now as you can see, I can now download this exe file for Windows. And it's going to take me to this page automatically. I'm just going to download this in my desktop. I'll probably delete this later. I'll just want to show you how it looks. And now I'm going to go to my desktop where it is. And I'm going to play it. Now it's going to be an exe file like this. It's going to look exactly like this. And I'm going to double click into it. And it should open up the game automatically because it's an exe file and that's why i say you should oh yeah the one more thing if it shows this this is because windows mostly if you have a windows device especially a modern one it'll um it'll try to protect you because exe files can contain viruses so it normally tries to protect you so you want to go into more info and put run anyway it's important to make sure you don't download anyone's fishy EXC file though, so you don't get a virus. But in this case, we know for a fact that this is a GDevelop game, so we won't have a virus on our computer. Alright, so it's going to install the game, and now it's going to open it up very shortly. In about 3, 2, 1, 0, and it's here. And we just gotta wait a little bit longer. It's gonna start this because this is first time opening a G Develop game. So I have to get a lot of things set up. Especially if your device not already run G Develop. But it's gonna show the game soon. Um, but while this is happening, it's loading right here. Now we can see the game and see it works perfectly fine. And last but not least, how do you publish on mobile? Now I'm not going into Android app bundle because it's basically the same steps. You just package it. And you follow the steps on the Google Play website. And then also, before you post on Google Play, you also have to pay money. So I won't be showing all of that here. Because I know most of you guys are not worrying about paying money right now. But it's also very simple. It's basically the same steps. But I want to show you how to test it on mobile. Let's say you're not trying to post it on Google Play yet. Um, you're going to need an APK. And APK, note this only works for Android. APK specifically. But all you have to do is create a package for Android. And it's going to export it just like it did with desktop. And one thing, I'm going to say this right off the bat while this is happening. Once it gives me the APK file, of course, since I'm not on a mobile device, I won't be able to immediately play it. But what you want to do is send the APK file to yourself. Send it to your own email. Or maybe if you somehow don't have an email or maybe if it's not working because sometimes it doesn't. Send it like in a Discord if you have a Discord server. Or if you don't, you can just create one real fast. And send the file in a Discord server. And then download it on your mobile device. This only works for Android because iOS devices, Apple devices, can they cannot open APK files. But once you do that, you just open on Android and then you'll be able to play your game. But it is important to know you have to specifically make your game mobile compa compatible in order to actually use mobile games to actually play APK files on mobile. But with that, that's actually the end of the tutorial on exporting. Exporting is extremely simple in GDevelop. I'm just going to cancel this package because it doesn't really matter. But exporting is extremely simple in GDevelop. And anytime you want to test your game, you can just click, quickly generate a link. Because you can only have a few builds per day for desktop. Just like you see, I ran out of my builds for desktop. So you want to use them wisely. But for when it comes to generating links, you can generate as many links as you want so that's how you export games in gdevelop i thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial see ya